as good and complete are these rules in plain vanilla UVA, there's some things that it cannot actually do. So let's take again the first example. What happened if a, an employee uses his normal access and authentication credentials to access a great deal more of information than the one he does or he begins to do things that he doesn't normally do because he becomes disgruntled and he's exfiltrating data preparing to leave the organization things like that or worst that his credentials are compromised and he normally has access to a database and all of a sudden he, a great deal of downloads happen he touches 50 records and all of a sudden 10,000 records gets downloaded in a, in a heartbeat and and how do you prove that it's not really him the credentials stealing is something very difficult to uh, relate to so entering UBA machine learning so when you sh install the machine learning when you click on this button you get presented to the m models that UBA has and notice that I have very few of them enabled in my system and what this is let me explain what uh, it does it, it it requires some time even more than the basic Q read or the UBA the machine learning needs to understand the normal self of every one of the employees out there so for example on uh, aggregated activity how much things that the guy does what type of things on activity distribution does the guy does? So how much access does he does? And you you can get the same with data downloaded, you know, all these different categories of uh, models that it has, right? And, and you see that the system has learned actually out of, out of the users in my demo system. And uh, more on that later. But basically what this does is, okay, I know how everybody behaves normally. And when people begin to deviate from the normal his or her ways of working, I'm going to give in additional points of risk. So, for example, let's go into this activity distribution, for example. And notice that this thing, you know, works with five points of risk. And you can modify this, and I don't want this to be five, but it to be 50, right? And you can actually do that. And that that is uh, that goes in the in the model. So, but then after that is done, this work with the all the, the rest of the plain vanilla UBA, just an additional source of risk based on people deviating from what they normally do. And we can actually see in my demo system the, the business models. Uh, I don't have them all of them enabled, but the system is learning. I mean, it's still learning on this one, still learning on this one, and the other ones are, are ready. Uh, so, and I have this, uh, I've been running this for, for quite some time. And how did I test this out? Well, what I did is I replayed for many days a couple of logs that represents mm, the normal user in my environment. And I run them at a constant rate. And all of a sudden, I run the logs for this uh, gentleman, Ronnie Shire, at a higher rate. So, I, I, so Ronnie Shire is doing far more uh, than what he normally does. So let's actually look for Ronnie and see what is it that the UBA is telling me about. And we can see this spike. Notice that this is the learn model. This is that the things that Ronnie does normally. The system learned that. And all of a sudden, he went bananas and he did all this, right? And notice the confidence uh, that, that the model has on that. And I even have another thing enabled here that shows uh, a similar thing for access activity because it, again he's allowed to do those things but why did he do that very many so that has uh, added some risk and depending on the threshold and all the other things that we show in the previous uh, model you'll get this to be enough of a risk to f have an offense firing that invites you to investigate Ronnie's behavior we can even see some of the use cases that was uh, trigger when when he went crazy and was doing all the all those actions again and, and this was my way of testing uh, whether this will catch up and surely it did and as in the tuning recommendations from bruno in the basic uh, uba on the machine learning you need to i mean you want to enable all the best all the 
models that you are interested in so the system begins to learn about those but then you know you need to play along with the risk and go little by little probably one model at a time and make sure that um, it, it's going to represent variations uh, and it's not going to distort the the amount of risk so you're not going to have false positive and you can test this out i mean uh, get a user and begin to do things uh, at a different rate and then see how the system detect those uh, those things but it's a great way of complementing the f and both are free the the, the basic uh, plain vanilla uba as well as the machine learning both uh, models are free but this is a great way of really complementing uh, and, and getting the full story on user behavior and excuse me for not showing you this in dark mode at the moment that this video was done uh, the the dark view for uba was not uh, ready